We're back, guys. My name is Anikin, and I'm back with another video. So, in today's video, mein, I'll be sharing with you some shortcuts uh, that we can use to crack the sums of application of integration area under curve. But before that, in the previous video, I have uh, discussed the basic concept and some sums of this chapter. So, if you haven't seen it and if you want to watch it, you can check it in the i button here. I'll put the link here. Just go and watch that video first as it will help you to clear your basics uh, of this chapter. And as for now, let's begin with the shortcuts of application of integration area under curve. Alright, so let's move on towards the first shortcut that we have, which says the area of the region lying between two parabolas y square equal to 4ax and x square equal to 4by is given by 16ab upon 3. Alright, so 16ab upon 3 is the formula to find the area of the region lying between two parabolas y square equal to 4ax and x square equal to 4by. And you have to go this ab are nothing but the constants this value we can find from these two equations so we just have to find the value of the two constants a and b and we can put them in the formula 16 ab upon 3 and we can quickly get the answer in a few seconds so remember 16 ab upon 3 is the formula to find the area of the region lying between two parabolas y square equal to 4 ax and x square equal to 4 b y now let's have a look at the next shortcut that we have which says the area of the region bounded by a parabola y square equal to 4ax and a line y is equal to mx is given by 8a square by 3m cube. So 8a square by 3m cube is the formula to find the area of the region lying between a parabola and a line. And here we this a and m are nothing but the constants which the value we can find from these two equations. So, a a square by 3m cube is the formula to find the area of the region lying between a parabola y square equal to 4ax and a line y is equal to mx. Alright, now let's move on towards the next shortcut that we have which says the area between an ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 and a straight line x upon a plus y upon b is equal to 1 is given by 1 by 4 pi ab minus 1 by 2 ab. You have formula thoda lengthy hai, but you can memorize it by repeating it in a particular rhythm. For example, I say 1 by 4 pi ab minus 1 by 2 ab. 1 by 4 pi ab minus 1 by 2 ab. 1 by 4 pi ab minus 1 by 2 ab. Even you can create your own rhythm and memorize it in your own possible way. So 1 by 4 pi ab minus 1 by 2 ab is the formula to find the area between an ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1 and a straight line x upon a plus y upon b is equal to 1. So let's move on towards the next shortcut that we have which says the area of the parabola y square is equal to 4ax bounded by its latest rectum is given by 8a square by 3 square units. And you have to let me tell you latest rectum is the line which passes through the focus and is parallel to the y axis. So the area between a parabola y square is equal to 4ax and its latest rectum is given by 8a square by 3 square units. So now the next formulae are uh, very simple which says uh, area of a standard circle is given by pi e square and area of a standard ellipse is given by pi ab. So whenever we are dealing with area of a standard circle or area of a standard ellipse, you can straight away use this formula without having to solve any integration as far as uh, the MCQs are concerned. So these are some set of formulas that we can use to crack the sums of application of integration area under curve. Topic is very small, this formula is a little bit but that's a good thing, right? So just have a good look at this formula before we end this video and we'll catch you in the next one.